after that we have the CXP export as well. So both the host and services commands give us a means of saving our query results into a file. The file format is a comma separated value or CSV that's what I call it. Followed by the hyphen O with the path and the file name. The information that has been displayed on the screen at this point will now be saved to the disk. So I can just type services hyphen S HTTP hyphen C port 192.168.16.132 and I could again go and type hyphen O and the exact player was place where it is so root slash let's say the space was test and HTTP period CSV it will go ahead and save the comma separated value over there so after that we could ho type host hyphen s s linux hyphen o slash root slash test slash linux dot csv and it will only search if you had that csv folder over there as we have it it's searching after that i could just go ahead and uh, if i wanted to read i could type cat slash root slash test slash linux period csv so uh, since i don't have anything over there it won't be able to read uh, if i go and type linux it will still won't be able to read because we don't have anything over here if i wanted to go and read the http i could type http and it will show me whatever there uh, it was in the http for a uh, file so yeah that's how we could go and do that after that we will uh, that would be it for this tutorial in the next tutorial i'll be going ahead and teaching you about the credentials and gathering different information through the http server or uh, let's do main do one thing i'll just go ahead and complete that in this tutorial only so if we could also go and gather credentials by typing creds and it will show us all the cre uh, wanting credentials the credential command is used to manage found and used credentials for targets in our database Running this command without any options will display currently saved credentials. So as with the db underscore nmap command, uh, successful results relating to credentials will be automatically saved to our active workspace. Let's run the auxiliary module mysql login and see what happens when Metasploit scans our server. So I'll just select auxiliary, let me check, I'll use, um, just type mysql. I'll just first search the for the MySQL just go login. Okay. I have the uh, it in the auxiliary version. So I'll just type use auxiliary scanner MySQL login. Perfect. So once I have over here, I'll just go and type run and I'll see. As you can see, uh, it has fail to validate the R host since we don't have the R host. So I'll just type set R host 92.168.13.12. Some random digits. And if I go ahead and run it, will go ahead and uh, run the specific module towards that and it will give me the specific stuff. If I wanted the credentials after I have uh, run that, I can just go ahead and type CREDS and it will give me the saved credentials. So we can see that the module was able to connect to a MySQL server and uh, because of this uh, my uh, metasploit saved the credentials in our database automatically for future reference so during post exploitation of a host gathering user credential is an important activity in order to further penetrate to a target's network and as we gathered sets of credentials we can add them to our database with the cred uh, creds hyphen a and we could a uh, command and we could actually go ahead and save that okay i don't think it will go ahead and quit after this, we can also go ahead and uh, type the credentials along with the IP address, the port and the administrator and we could go ahead and uh, gain access to that. So you just type credentials hyphen A and 192.168.12.132. Oh, look, wait, let me go back. Okay. And I just type uh, credentials and uh, hyphen A and 192.168. 68.12.132 hyphen b that means the port would be 445 I want to access it as administrator administrator perfect and the password would be hash I go ahead and do this and after this I could straight away go ahead and get the credentials and once I have compromised the system 
one of the objective may be to go ahead and receive the hash term files so i could just go ahead and uh, type it something like loot to go ahead and gather these commands so from either a windows or unix system in an event of a successful hash dump this information will be stored in our database and we can view these uh, dumps using the loot command so it would be loot and not the capital l and uh, once we have all of these sessions uh, by exploiting and post gathering uh, we can straight away go ahead and uh, type the loot command to go ahead and gather information so that's it for this tutorial and that would be end of the database session for the cal linux in the next tutorial we'll be starting in with the session hijacking and the secure layer stripping